In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these super cute, super easy Christmas gift tags. These gift tags are so easy to make because your Cricut does most of the work. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more projects like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started on the project. For this project, you're going to need a few sheets of cardstock and I used white, red glitter, and green glitter. You can also use a Cricut pen, which is optional, Baker's twine, your Cricut, a cutting mat, and the cut file. So grab your supplies and let's head over to the computer. The first thing that we need to do is grab the SVG file we'll be using for this project. You can get it for free on my blog at burtonavenue.com. I keep all the SVG files for the projects that I make and share in this free SVG library. These files will work with all kinds of cutting machines and they're free to everyone. Once you're on my site, just go ahead and click on free SVG files and then free SVG library. You will need a password to get in and there are instructions on the screen if you need to get one. Once you're in the library, you can search for the file Christmas gift tag. It will either be listed under the most recent projects and cut files or under the category Christmas. You can also use your browser search to find it. This file will also have the unique code BA1414 after the name to make finding the file a little easier. Once you've found the file, go ahead and click on it and it will be downloaded onto your computer. Now, when you download the files online, they come in a zipped folder and you'll need to extract them before you can use them in Cricut Design Space. To do this, you'll need to go to the location where downloaded files are saved onto your computer. Once you're there, look for that zipped folder that we just downloaded and double click on it. A new window will open and somewhere you should see the option to extract or unzip. Click on that and you'll see another window open up and this will just show you where the unzipped files will be saved onto your computer and you need to remember this location because you'll have to get to it once you're in Cricut Design Space. So go ahead and click on extract and those files will be unzipped and now they're ready to use. So let's head over to Cricut Design Space and start a new project. Once you're on this canvas screen, you can go ahead and click on the upload button and then click on upload image and then click browse. And now you're going to want to go to the location where those unzipped files were saved. Once you're inside of that folder, you'll see several different file types listed and we are going to be using the SVG. And sometimes the SVG will actually show up as a Chrome HTML document or a Microsoft Edge HTML document. So if you don't see SVG in this list of files, be sure to look for that. So go ahead and click on the file and then choose open. Make sure it's the file you want to work with and then click save. Then select the file one more time and choose insert images. And now your design will appear on your canvas screen. So the first thing that we're going to do is resize this to nine and a half inches wide. And that will just make the height of each tag about four inches tall. So you can, of course, make it smaller or larger if you want. The next thing that we're going to do is ungroup this because right now everything is grouped together and we can't choose individual elements and work with it. So we're going to right click and choose ungroup. And now you see we can move individual parts around. Okay, so now down here, these different Christmas phrases are for if you want to use a Cricut pen to write them onto the tags. So we'll choose a couple of these and move them up onto the tags. But the first thing we need to do is select all of them and go up to line type and click the drop down box and change it to draw. And then we're just going to change the color to a red. Okay. So now we can go ahead and move some of these phrases onto our tags. 
So I'm just going to move the white part over here just to make it a little easier to work with since there's two tags layered. And we will move this first phrase up here. And then I'm going to select both the tag and the phrase. And I'm going to click on a line and center horizontally. And then I'm going to right click and choose attach. And that's just going to lock this phrase onto the tag so that when we go to cut and draw, it will put the phrase on top of the tag and not somewhere else on the mat. And so I'm going to do that with a couple more of the designs. Now I'm not going to use these two phrases, so I'm just going to select them and delete them. And I think that that's it. And we now can just go up and send this to the machine by clicking the green make it button. And this screen will just show us what each of our cutting mats will look like. And the first mat will be our white cardstock and it shows these tags being cut. And then these words are going to be done with a red Cricut pen. And then the other two mats will be our glitter cardstock. This will be red glitter and this will be green glitter. So let's start with the first mat. If everything looks good, click on the green continue button. Once Design Space finds your Cricut, you'll be taken to this screen. Make sure that your dial is set to custom and then you can select the material you'll be cutting. And I'm going to be cutting my design in a heavy cardstock just because I like the thicker look. But you can use something a little bit thinner if you want. So choose cardstock and then click done. And I am also just going to increase my pressure to more. Okay, now that everything is set, you can go over and load up your machine. So place a piece of white cardstock on your Cricut mat and then load it into your machine by pressing the up and down arrow button. If you added any of the Christmas phrases to these gift tags, you'll also want to place a Cricut pen into clamp A. Once everything is ready to go, you'll see the C button light up. Press this and your machine will begin cutting. Once everything is finished cutting, press the up and down arrow button again to unload your mat. Now we need to remove the cardstock from the cutting mat. You'll want to slightly bend the cutting mat and carefully pull off the cut cardstock. If there are any pieces left on the cutting mat, you'll need to remove them. And the spatula tool works great for this. Once everything is off, you can place on your piece of red cardstock and load it into your machine. You'll need to go back over to Cricut Design Space and click on Browse All Materials and then type in Glitter Cardstock. And select that, click Done, and then once again I'm increasing my pressure to more. And now you can go cut the red cardstock. Once the red is done, you can repeat the steps with the green cardstock. Now that everything is cut, it's time to assemble these gift tags. The glitter cardstock will go on the bottom and the white cardstock will go on top. And then you'll need to cut several pieces of twine and I cut mine about eight to nine inches long. Now take a piece of twine and fold it in half and then thread it through both holes of the tags. Pull the twine about halfway through and separate it to form a loop. Then you'll take the two ends and put them over the top of the tag and through the loop and then pull it tight. And that's all there is to it. This is such an easy project, but I just love how cute they turned out and how great they'll look on those Christmas presents. If you love this project and you want to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe so you'll get notified each time I post a new video.